In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an outline for your vector graphics using Bezier curves and straight lines. I've already selected the tool I'll be using for this tutorial, and it's the Draw Bezier, Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool, but uh, I'll, I'll be also using the Edit Paths node tool and the uh, selector. So just to start out with, I'll begin by drawing a few straight lines along the path. For that, you just click along the direction you want to go. You don't drag it otherwise. You will be creating a curved path, which will we be doing now in the next section here for the handle. For that, you will want to see where it starts to bend in the curve. If you can notice that's how you can always experiment and add points later. Uh, for now, if I were to continue on, this would look quite odd. So I will press enter and click the finishing point and continue along the path. Again, press enter because it'll look a little odd if I don't and finish the path, and that is our handle. Because I didn't deselect it when I continued, this is now a closed path, so I could fill it however I need, and it'll look correct without any open sections not being closed off. Uh, I will continue now with the finer details. So this will be kind of the inner handle. If for some reason you do not like how the path is going, you could always press escape to finish it off as well. I'm just going to show you how to edit some of the notes. So here, it wouldn't have been how I planned it. So you could manipulate the paths to go along the edge you want by dragging the handles if you wanted to. And you can always click and drag the whole thing back into position to kind of force it where you want it to go. You could also create a could also create a section, a new point in the path by double clicking it. Uh, so that one would have kind of interfered with the handle a little bit, but I did get it in there. And there we have the basic handle done. To do a section like this, what you would have to do is ideally zoom in. This will help you a lot when you actually go to create your path. And you want to go along the middle sections of the points and drag up and down create the desired effect. So that's how you do a section like that. Uh, sometimes you may notice little white uh, points appearing along your path. And to fix that, you would keep the line selected and fill it here as a solid color. Otherwise, uh, you will have to try to manipulate it to see if it'll correct it. Just click off and just see if it'll correct that section, which it did. Just going to continue now. The blade. Oh, 
I'll add a point in there later on to finish off that angle correctly. It always takes the surrounding points uh, style with it, so if it's a rounded edge, it will have a rounded shape to it. Again, you just kind of want to find the defining points in the curve to work with. You might have to play around with a bit to get used to it. Or use a tracer if that's a, you have an image to work with. But uh, for now, that is how we have a basic outline. Next, I'll be adjusting the widths. So to adjust the widths, you would have to select the node. And it's important that if you want to do this, you will have to select one of these three options, or you cannot even use a custom object. But you cannot have none if you want to do this particular feature. So you would ooh, press escape. Okay, so you would just select your path and wherever you started out, uh, if you're doing this from the start, you will have a little pink nodule which you can select here and drag along your path. For an open path, it will actually taper off to the last point. For a closed path, you will see initially an equal width along the whole section. Uh, to fix that, you would control click the point to make a new section, and then you could easily drag it to wherever you need to taper it off or make it fatter. And you can make however many of these that you want. So let's say I want three, you can just you don't have to travel along the path. You could just kind of go across wherever you need to. And there you kind of have different widths going along. Just make a few more adjustments and then I will be done with the basic eight outline. And eventually we will add color in the next video. So here I have a outline. I see a few white spots here, so I'm just gonna see if I can correct a few issues there. That one was fixed at the corner there. This one may need to be dragged a little bit. There. So now there's no more white spot there. This will be filled in later on, so I could just put that point in there for now. You won't see it, and it'll be fine. But we do have a basic outline now to work with with variable width.